In this video, I'm going to show you how to create openings in SketchUp. Let's go. All right, so the first way you can create a opening is by simply making a wall like this using your rectangle and push pull tools. And then you can draw a rectangle on top of this face. So I'm going to press R to activate the rectangle tool. Click once. And if you are not drawing it in the right axis, then you can snap it to the correct axis by using the arrow keys as well. So I've pressed the left arrow key to snap it to the green axis. And now I can click the second time to create my rectangle. Now what I need to do is I can select the push pull tool, which is P on my keyboard. You can notice that this happens when I activate the push pull tool, the wrong face is selected. So always select the correct face and then activate the push pull tool. Click once. And then it's always a good idea to orbit to the other side and then click on any face to create your opening. So that's how you create an opening using the rectangle tool and the push pull tool. Now, a lot of students make the mistake of drawing the rectangle on a group and then expect that they could make an opening. So now, for example, if I draw a rectangle here, select the face, use the push pull tool. And now if I drag it out, you can see that instead of making an opening, I'm actually making a box. This happens a lot to a lot of new students who are new to SketchUp. So to avoid this, I can just undo this by pressing Ctrl Z. So to avoid this, you can simply enter the group by double clicking. And then you can see this dash bounding box here. You can simply make a rectangle now. So now you can see that we've sort of separated the face into two faces here by creating an offset. And then we can use the push pull tool and then push it out. So always enter the group, make a rectangle and then push it out. So that's how you create an opening using the rectangle and the push pull tools. Now I'll show you how to use the solid tools, which comes natively with SketchUp to create your opening. So I'm going to draw a rectangle here and I'm going to push it out. I'm also going to make this a group and push it out. You can right click and click on make group to create a group. I've assigned a shortcut G to make my groups. So that's how I make my groups. Now we have two groups here and you can notice that in the entity info it's called a solid group. So to use the solid tools, you can go to view toolbars and select solid tools here. So this is our plugin and we can use the subtract feature. So you can select the subtract feature and then we need to select the cutting groups. So which is this and then select our wall group. So always select your cutting group first and then your wall group. So to which subtract the first cutting group from the second wall group. I hope that made sense. Now I'll show you some faster ways to create openings using paid plugins. The first plugin is called the double cut plugin by Mindsight Studios. So I'm going to activate that. Now this is a fairly simple plugin to use. So you just need to click on the place sing simple cutting component and then you should place it inside the group. So if I place it here, you can see that you get this error since the cutting group is not glued on the face. So it's important that, and let me undo this. So it's important that you enter the group, select the cutting component, and then place it on the face. So now you can see that it creates that opening. And the best part about this group is that it's dynamic. So if I press the scale tool, which is S on my keyboard, and select these edges and move it out, you can see that the cutting, the opening also adjusts accordingly. So this saves a lot of time, and it creates this nice rim as well on the edges. Now, if you don't want to see this rim, you can enter this group and then simply select all of these faces and delete it. You can still retain that opening. And then you can use the edges to make your opening. How cool is that? So I use the double cut a lot to create openings fast in SketchUp. The next way you can create an opening is by using a plugin called Bool Tools, which is super handy, especially when you have curve walls like this. If I use the native solid tools, now for example, if I select the subtract here and select my cutting group and then the wall group, you can see that I'm not able to select the wall group. And this happens when the groups are not properly solid in nature. So this is when pro tools like bool tools to come in handy. So if I select the difference tool here, which works similar to the subtract tool in solid tools, so let's select the difference tool. And in this case, I need to select the wall group first and then the cutting group. So I'm going to select the wall group and then the cutting group. And you can see that 
a warning shows up because this group wasn't a solid. But if I click on yes, you can see that we've created our opening. And then if you want to delete this, you can simply come here, select this, make it a group and then delete. So we have a nice cool opening in this wall. Now I'll show you how to create an opening and then also create windows in those openings automatically. So this is another paid plugin, which is super handy called Flex Tools. So I generally use Flex Tools to create windows, doors and more. And it helps me save a lot of time as well. So to create your windows and doors, you need to enter the group. So you can see our dash bounding box. And then we can select any component. So let's select our Flex fixed window and then place it on the wall. So that would create our opening and it comes with the window as well. And the best part about this plugin is that if I scale this or stretch this out, you can see that the opening size increases and it also retains the size of the frame. So that is super handy because sometimes when you place windows and scale them out like that, the thickness of the frame changes. So it keeps the frame thickness uniform and that helps me save a lot of time as well. You can also increase the height in case you would like to do so. And finally, as a bonus, I'll show you another free way to create openings in curved surfaces and walls. So I will need to create a box first. So I've created my box using the push pull tool and the rectangle tool. And I'm also going to explode this. So now we have two groups here. Now, all you need to do to create your opening here is by intersecting the faces and deleting out any additional faces and edges. So let's select this entire group and then you can right click, go to intersect faces and click on either with model or with selection. Both of them work almost the same with model means that if there's any additional objects intersecting in your selected model that would get cut as well. So maybe your safest bet would be to select with selection. So let's select that. And now I can go ahead and delete all these edges. And you can see that a face remains here. So let me just delete all of these as well. All these lines. And a face remains here as well. So now I simply need to delete this and then delete this inside face. Now we're left with our nice opening here. And then I can also reverse these faces in case I want to see the front face of our wall. Alright, so that's six awesome ways to create openings in SketchUp fast. I hope you found this video useful. Please do like and subscribe. And if you'd like to learn how to create awesome renders with SketchUp and V-Ray for SketchUp, check out my premium course in the link below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.